How's it going guys? It's Drew Junkie here and I have a fun video for you today. I'm really excited about this. I haven't done a video on this device in a little while here. This is the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and this is Alliance ROM. This is a build 2 and if you want your device to look kind of like this or actually like a lot of different devices, you got to check this ROM out. This is take two, two parts in this thing. Stay tuned for all of it. You're going to love it. I'll catch you guys in a little bit. To install Alliance ROM on your Galaxy Note 3, there are some prerequisites you are going to want to make. And those are, let's see if we can follow. You're going to have to have root access on your device. You're going to have to be, or have SafeStrap installed, SafeStrap recovery. You can see two applications right there. So you're going to have both those things done. And you're going to have to be, let's see if we can show you, on a certain build number to do this. So we're going to go to About Device and you're going to want to be on baseband version build number NC4 okay that is what you're going to want to be on see I'm actually in a custom ROM but this custom ROM is based on NC4 so you want to make sure you have NC4 baseband and kernel version installed if you have all those prerequisites go ahead and download the custom ROM and you're going to go ahead and do that to let's see if I can show you we got my SD card downloads and right there it is Alliance ROM so that's all you're going to need to download right there I'll go ahead and show it to you it should be um, build uh, 2 I think yeah there it is Verizon um, which is the H L T E V Z W which stands for the Verizon variant of the Galaxy Note 3 Alliance ROM build to zip. Again, this is by an awesome guy named Beanstown, and uh, that's his username anyway. And he went ahead and put this together. So I'm really excited to get this on this device and get it installed. So first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and just uh, reboot your device. If you don't have the reboot option in your menu, go ahead and just power it off, and then wait for it to power off, and then power it back on, and you'll be hit with the safe strap screen. Now, if I'm lost you already with the safe strap, just stop right here. Go watch my videos on how to install install safe strap on this current build, um, and you can do that. Also, if you're on a newer build with Android 4.4, you are kind of stuck if you don't have root access already. There's no way to go back to this older build, and no way to get any custom ROMs at this time at least may be changed in the future, but where we are right now, that's where we are. Alright, so this ROM has to be flashed to the stock ROM slot. So I would recommend, but actually not recommend, because you're flashing stock slot, if you have some kind of a problem with this build, you're probably going to have to own restore your device. Um, so hopefully you all know how to do it. Again, if you haven't or don't know how to own restore your device, I have a video on it as well in my playlist for the Galaxy Note 3. We're going to go ahead and we're going to hit wipe and we're going to go swipe across and this is going to wipe data factory set the current system or the stock system you can see it listed right up there we'll go back back again and now we have a clean slate to install our custom ROM Alliance ROM so we're going to hit install and I'm going to scroll to downloads and then the ROM and it should be listed and swipe across to flash it's basically that simple there you go you can see the Alliance ROM little uh, logo stuff going on there. Again, it's based on KitKat Android 4.4.2 NC4. Gives you the build date, which is about a month ago now, a little over. Um, there you can see Beanstown uh, Surge uh, 1223 and Bajaris. I don't know how to say that name, I'm sorry. Um, and then themed by Dave Annie. Hallation, uh, yeah, I'm terrible with these people's usernames. So we're just going to go ahead and let this thing install. When it's done, we'll check out the boot animation. I'll show you guys Alliance ROM on NC4 on my Galaxy Note 3. All right, shabam. Very, very cool. It is installed. Let's go ahead and reboot system. Uh, that install process took... Mm, 
Oh, not too long really. It was about a minute. So, not a bad deal. Let's see what we have. There's our splash screen, so that's good. Um, if you get the splash screen, it means you didn't bork anything or mess anything up super bad. Um, if you had that in Android backup, you could restore it as long as you can see the splash screen on a boot, which is a good sign. Um, let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, yeah! Check out that uh, boot animation. Very, very nice. Liking it a lot. Um, since 2012, it's like, you know, a hundred years in business! No, no, it's just like two years ago. <laughs> I still like it though. Very, very cool. Um, let's let this thing boot up. Give it a good five minutes for that. I'm going to run through some setup and then I'm going to show you guys Alliance ROM Build 2 on the Galaxy Note 3. Alright, I went ahead and skipped through the initial setup and we're left with this. I don't have my SIM in here right now or Wi-Fi connected. That's why you're going to see some different things up there. But this is the Alliance ROM fully done. So let's go ahead and just walk through some of the quick settings and applications and stuff that comes with it. So we're going to go into the app drawer. And oh yeah, some very nice things. So first things we want to do is just go ahead and open this Alliance Manager. Really quick, just open it up. That's all you got to do. It just starts creating the files you're going to need on the device along with Alliance settings. Oh man, this is crazy. Some major cool settings there. Also, it does come including with ES File Browser, which is my absolute favorite file browser, so I'm super happy about that. You can see some Google applications there. Um, ROM Customizer looks uh, interesting. We're going to grant super user permission to that. And uh, looks like it has a bunch of cool things. Checking support. It's going to check forever because I don't have signal right now. So let me get out of this one and uh, keep moving. I'm going to have to turn my Wi-Fi on to finish showing you this. We obviously do have Super User right there for root access. You have Torch right there for turning on your flashlight. All your Verizon applications, well not all of them, but there's a bunch there. Uh, probably the most important ones that most people like to keep on their device. So not bad for applications. See if our home screen's got anything uh, new and exciting in here. What about, um, we'll go ahead and check our widgets as well. So, standard, nothing notable in here as I'm seeing so far. Yeah, pretty much um, standard, standard widget so far. Oh, here, this is pretty cool. Um, ROM customizer, that's for rebooting and stuff like that. That's going to be a nice widget you might want to add in there. Give you some uh, nice functionality. And it looks like it's looping back through. So, not bad, not bad at all. Let's pull down our quick toggles and just uh, see what we're working with in here. We'll go ahead and, uh, you know what, let's go back to our quick toggles really quick. Let's go to the full list here. All right, so just seeing if there's anything different. You have Torch, which is nice to be included in there. Network restrictions, that's interesting. Power saver. Um, power off button. Camera, very interesting. Battery status, you can click on that and go right into your battery information. So there's some definite uh, different ones in here than what you're used to. We'll move into settings here and just kind of scroll through these really quickly. I don't see anything that's really sticking out to me so far. Um, app Ops and default applications. App Ops, that's interesting. Some uh, permissions and stuff built into it. That's really nice. And then, woo, here it is. Alliance ROM. This little category right here is going to be all of your fun customization. I'm excited to walk through a bunch of those, but we'll come back to them. So yeah, developer options turned on. So nothing uh, too crazy here. We'll look in here anyway. So there you go. Alliance ROM. Infinite possibilities. Ooh, nice. Um, baseband version NC4 like I was telling you. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. Um, so let's go ahead and let's go back up here to these. So we're going to go into Theme Chooser first of all. And it looks like there's quite a few themes already in here, which is kind of neat. Um, let's go ahead and uh, let's try one of these. Let's go with the Exper Xperia. Let's apply this. I'm just curious to see. Ooh, baby, yeah! See, I don't have any of the Sony devices, so just to be able to click and theme that quickly is just really, really cool. 
Um, I'm loving that. Really loving that. That's really nice to have the themes already downloaded, give you some good variety in there. Um, very, very happy about that. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. So this is just if there's an OTA update, it looks like Alliance ROM can OTA update your device just like a normal stock ROM would, which is very nice. ROM customizer. Um, again, you've seen this interface before. So root browser, browse OTA content, um, flash, install from SD card, some different things, standard uh, reboots, hot boots, um, download mode, recovery. Then you got some other things in here. So information about your ROM. Yeah, a whole bunch of nice little uh, stuff you can check there for sure. And then custom settings. This is where the magic happens. Um, ooh, nice. So we have a couple guys' uh, pictures in here, which is really nice for the developers. Some information about their XDA threads, which is really nice. Definitely, guys, if you like what any developer is doing ever, if you like their work, donate to the developers. It encourages them, keeps them going, get some new devices so they can keep doing awesome ROM development like Alliance ROM here for everybody in the Android community. So I really want to emphasize, make sure you guys donate. This stuff is amazing, and if you want to see more of it, you got to support those developers. Uh, on that note, um, there is so much in here, I don't even think I can go over it on this video. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm going to do another video that's just going to be attached to this in the video description and it's just going to go over the Alliance, Alliance settings and talk about the cool perks and mods you can do in it. So stay tuned for that. So guys, I'm going to cut it right here and I will catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.